Hi everyone. In the previous video, we created a menu and then using switch statements, we were able to define each entry to do something different. But if I run the program, what happens if I put in a value that is not defined in any of the cases in the switch statement? So if I enter the values one and two and two, and then from the menu, I would put in, for example, number seven. So you notice that the program terminates because nothing happens afterwards, but this switch does not execute. So pretty much nothing's happening. So um, the benefit of having a, a default, and this is an optional statement in switch or when using switch state statements, you don't necessarily need to use the default keyword, but this can be used if you need to display a message for any other entry that is not listed in any of the cases. So with if, else, if, uh, else, if, else, this is kind of similar to the final else. Um, so I'll put a message in the default and this would be executed if any of the above is not being entered by the user. I would say wrong entry and then I, maybe I could tell the user enter value between. So I would let the user know what entry I'm looking for and then I'll have a break as well after that. Okay. So let's run this. Um, hold on, I'll put break. I forgot the semicolon there. Okay, so now when I put in seven, then it will execute whatever is in the default entry. It's saying enter a value between one and six. Okay, so that's the use of the default uh, keyword. And then I also want to demonstrate why it's necessary to have a break. So if I don't have a break, um, it will execute the next one as well. So if I don't have a break at one, it will also do a two. And if I do, for example, let me run this. And um, so I'll have two and two. And then if I do one, it'll execute one and it will also execute two. So it will actually be good to have a print line for these so that it will um, print each one in a new line. So let me show you if I remove all the breaks, what we would have. So the break is is the sep is is something that makes it stop. So do one and stop. Um, if we don't have that, it's just going to kind of go to the next one. So two and two, and if I choose one, you'll notice that it will execute all of the cases. So the break is kind of like a a stop point. Okay, so I hope this helps you understand when to use the default and why it's important to have a break. Um, in some situations, you might not want to have a break um, between the cases if you want to execute multiple, multiple cases at one time. So it is really depending on your program. Um, and now that you know why the break is important and you can decide if your program needs a break between the cases or not. So, um, but I hope this helped you. I'll see you in the next one.